The Democratic candidates square off in their second debate, virtually, of course, due to COVID concerns. Political specialist Sean Boyd moderated the debate and has a recap. This race could decide which party controls the U.S. Senate and how they respond to racism, police brutality, COVID, and the economy. This debate exposed some clear differences and areas of agreement in our two candidates. On the growing call to defund police departments, both men said they would divert money away from law enforcement to other community services. I'd like to reinvest in mental health care in America. We've cut those programs throughout the country and use the resources that we're spending now on criminalizing. The Rather than ever sending a teenager uh, to jail, we, we have diversionary programs and educational programs, skills-based training to, to make sure that we need smaller jails. We send less, people, less kids to jail, and again, it's, it's predominantly kids of color, Let's change that. The candidates also fielded questions about the coronavirus crisis. Both believe a second wave would require a partial shutdown if there isn't more testing, tracing, and treatment. They said Congress isn't doing enough to make sure stimulus money goes to the people who need it most. And Hickenlooper also had reservations about people making more on unemployment than they would working. The candidates differ on Medicare for All and the Green New Deal. Romanoff supports both. Hickenlooper doesn't. They also disagree on whether Joe Biden should be the Democratic nominee for president if he is guilty of sexual assault. Hickenlooper says he believes the allegations to a large extent. I look at uh, Tara Reid as someone who showed a great deal of courage to come forward uh, and talk about what happened to her. In the end, I still support uh, uh, Joe Biden for president. Absolutely. I believe her allegations should be investigated and taken seriously, like any allegations. I don't know whether they're true or not. I support, at this point, uh, Vice President Biden over Donald Trump. I will say, if the allegations are proven true, I would request the Democratic Party pick a new nominee. Just last week, Hickenlooper was found in contempt after defying a subpoena to testify before the state's Independent Ethics Commission, even as the state footed his legal costs. He wouldn't say whether he should reimburse taxpayers and continued to defend his actions in regard to the two ethics violations. You can watch the full debate on CBSDenver.com. Political specialist Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.